Hi, in this video I'll show you how to calculate interference with backless program. A general classification of interference sources are internal and external. I will stay focused on internal system interference where you need to know all signals that might interfere between each other. For that I will use previously created network file. Check my video how to create network and I will just open it from my computer. And here is my network. There is one 13G link, three 18G links and those two links are in 38 GHz. What you need to have is calculated all point-to-point -point link levels. So if you click on any link on the network you'll see uh, details about that link. I'll just click summary. Here are the site names, call, call sign, unique for each site, not important for link calculation but very important for interference calculation. If I choose worksheet and report, okay uh, this is report of the whole link. It's, it is important to define also frequencies, exact frequencies. You see here TX channels. Press channel button in the module. You can define channel ID, exact frequency and polarization. Also polar, uh, frequency to the remote side. So local and remote side. For channel ID use on the same number, doesn't matter much. Okay, let's go back to our network. Once again, all links must be created before calculating interference with defined frequencies and call signs. Links on same frequency and same polarization will have biggest impact on each other. Therefore, I will calculate now interference only between those 18G links. For that, I will use layers, because Petlus calculation considers only displayed layers, and all my 18G links are layer 1. My tip is to put inactive or planned link into different layers so you don't use it in calculation. Let's go to interference tab and click calculate intra. It says uh, no interference cases. But how that can be possible since I have three links on the same frequency? Let's do that again. Again calculate intra. Ok here it is. I have short coordination distance. My links are 15 km long and I put only 10 km in this box so I must extend this on 20 km to get all of them. Maximum frequency separation is how big part of spectrum I'll use. It's typically channel width since in practice only overlapping bandwidth will have great interference impact. For minimum interference level use some low level as minus 115 dB. If you don't have a receiver better than that, this way you guarantee that the signal you will discard will not be affected. And calculation margin sets a tolerance on the reporting of interference cases. Let's click calculate again and now it's ok. Let's analyze data. Go to reports, case details. Here you can choose each transmitting device compared to all other links. Interfering signal. Here is what we're looking for. Value of 1 minus 105 means it's a low value, much lower than receiving threshold. Minus 69. Here you can change cases and subcases.
okay values for all lengths and this value here minus 71 could cause some problems because it's very close to minimum receiving signal okay victim is Kendrick Peak interfered by Humphreys Peak let's see the map this link is victim interfered from here that's something we could expect just watching this map right you can see that in fate correlation all cases and how they impact on the rest of the network ok just, just change them here and look where from where to they interfere click 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 okay another report is cross reference where you have short report of all cases okay see case here all sub cases some most important link values and what we're looking for is here is where it is right here interference level see those those are problematic values because they are close to our receiving threshold that means if they are slightly higher we could expect interference problems right now they are still okay I would say I will close now this cross reference report and I will try to change layers so I can calculate other frequencies I can check layers I like to calculate but I cannot remove the foot layer so I must change it first um, there is only one link so we cannot calculate an interference let's use third layer with 38 G links now we can use shorter distance I don't know why this is not automatically calculated by software but ok here is the result everything looks fine values are low for these links and here is also summary all cases on in one view this is pretty much all if you don't know all data of the links on the sites basically you cannot calculate much if you still have problems try to try to change frequency try to change polarization move them from each other as much as you can uh, put them on different heights and basically you, you need to consider case by case thank you see you next video